Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this uh, FlySky receiver. It's called the Flit 10, and I'm not exactly sure who makes it, uh, but essentially it's a smaller, like shrunken down version of the uh, FSIA6B receiver. And in case you guys don't know what that looks like, it's this one here. Essentially it's the exact same receiver. They sort of cloned all the functions, but all of the uh, PWM outputs here and the PPM output, all this is not obviously a function of this one, it just outputs IBUS. And there's this telemetry module that's included with this receiver that I think a lot of people were interested in. And it turns out that this is probably not going to be all that useful for the, most people that, at least at least in the multi-rotor community. I found that basically what this little thing does here is it mimics or copies a hack for the IA6B receiver where there's some sort of diode or something where you're able to send both the telemetry from the receiver and also use it as a uh, both, both the TX and the RX on the UART on just the TX. It's kind of complicated and I think that for most people this is going to be over their heads in terms of trying to set it up. Quite frankly, um, wrapping my own head around this stuff was pretty pretty difficult uh, and I had to read a lot of uh, stuff on RC groups and some stuff on GitHub. I'll put a link to the, the discussion on the telemetry from the IA6B receiver. And I'll put that link in the description. You guys can read all you want about that. That's uh, pretty technical stuff. Um, bottom, but the bottom line here is uh, they basically took this receiver and the little hack to get the telemetry out of the receiver and then they created this uh, little smaller receiver. It's not quite a micro-sized receiver. And I'll just show you the, what it looks like here compared to the FSA8S. It's a little bit uh, bigger, you can see here. Both on a little taller and also just a touch wider as well. And it's a little bit heavier. It's got the diversity receivers, or there's diversity antennas, of course, so you get a little bit better reception there. And it is a telemetry receiver like uh, the IA6B, the X, uh, or the X6B, um, those send telemetry back to the transmitter, for example, like RSSI. And I know that a lot of you guys are asking, like, well, how do we get RSSI to your OSD? And I'll get into that a little bit later in the video if you can just hang on here. Uh, basically, uh, for you guys that are thinking we'll get to, we'll get uh, OSD from this little module here, that's not what's that's not what's going on. If you go and read that link about uh, the IA6B receiver, uh, it's really limited in terms of what kind of information gets sent back from the flight controller via this module to the receiver to your transmitter. Um, it's things like motor RPM and transmitter uh, voltage or receiver voltage that kind of stuff. Let me actually let me just power this up and I'll actually show you what shows up on the screen here. Okay, so I have this already bound already, I did that previously, and it's sending back some information here, including this thing called error rate or error one. It says it's a 2%, which is basically a reverse of RSSI, so you can think of it as subtracting uh, this from 100 and you get uh, an RSSI of 98%. Uh, the other uh, telemetry, um, let's go into the settings here, the other things that you could look at out of the receiver. You go into receiver setup and you go to a sensor list here. So you get like things like internal voltage, which is I think the transmitter. You get temperature, motor, RPM, I think it's like, I'm not exactly sure how, how that's set up here. External voltage and transmitter voltage. And then if you go to the next page, you get the error rate. That's the one that everyone is actually interested in, is this one here. The, RSSI, and if you have one of the, um, if you flash your radio to the Fly Plus firmware, I think that's a current version is 1.75, I'll put a link in the description to that uh, GitHub uh, download and maybe some, I'll have a link for instructions how to ins install, that's well beyond the scope of this video, but there is a way for you to use that firmware to send uh, the RSSI or this error percentage back to the uh, flight controller via an aux channel and then then you can configure your beta flight configurator uh, to use that aux channel to display the rssi in your osd that's how you would do it 
if you don't have the special updated firmware, if you have the standard firmware on the FSI 6, you won't be able to do that. You will only be able to see the RSSI or this error rate on your transmitter only. And of course you can set alarms, I believe, uh, if you want to, but that's not particularly that useful for multi router guys that are going to be using it mostly in OSD. Now given that, that you hardly get hardly any information here back, I don't find this particular setup all that useful. And let me just turn this off. And this was actually real pain in the butt to set up. So what they've done here is you have uh, four four wires here. You know, the orange one is a sensor wire or a telemetry wire and the blue one is IBUS. And then they've got this module here that combines the two signals. So basically it's a send and receive because you know, IBUS is like, a, I think it's a half duplex protocol. And it actually sends everything over one wire which you have to then connect to a transmit pin. In this case I have it on, uh, I think it's TX2 or TX3, I can't quite read it there. But the bottom line is, um, setting this up is a real pain in the butt. It only works for F4 and F7 flight controllers. I tried this on an F3, could not get it to work. You can get it to work on an F3 if you compile your own firmware, and of course, I don't know how the hell to do that. If you know how to do that, good luck to you, have fun with that. Um, yeah, that basically, there's a lot of work just to get this to work. Uh, again, I'll put a link to how this is set up, where you can combine your RX and TX to one TX UART, and there's a, there's a CLI command to do that. Uh, but quite, fr quite frankly, it's completely pointless for me, and I think for most people, because uh, who cares about motor RPM and temperatures and stuff like that. I think that if you're like an airplane guy, maybe this might be useful, but... Um, for, for a multi order person, I don't think it would be all that useful. So I'm not going to bother even going into details on this setup because it's uh, extremely difficult and uh, what you get out of it is not all that valuable. So I would suggest if you're getting this to use this little module here, I think there might be future support at some point for other sensor modules, that kind of stuff. That I'm not aware of and uh, there might be already some modules that work with this. I don't know. Um, but at this time, I'm not aware of any, so this particular module isn't all that useful. So I'm going to stop talking about this right now. Okay, so if you don't use the module here, I have, it, I have another setup here where I have it just, just not even connected. Just use your three wires and just send your IBUS signal to a standard uh, serial uh, RX, so just a, just a receive port on one of the UARs, a standard uh, you know, SBUS port or IBUS port on your flight controller, which is what I have done here, no telemetry module. This this mo this receiver still sends RSSI information back to your radio uh, without the telemetry module needed. So if you want RSSI, you can still do that and you can get it back on your radio. And then, it, of course, as I mentioned before, if you have the Fly Plus uh, 1.75 firmware on the i6 radio, you can do that whole hack where you can send it back to an aux channel. That still works with this receiver just like it does with the, uh, the IA6B receiver. However, that hack does not work with any of these micro receivers like the IA, um, sorry, the AAS or the FS82 or the RX2A Pro or any of the other little micro receivers. Like these are, these are these receivers here are two-way receivers. This, these other micro receivers here are one-way receivers. No RSSI information gets sent back from the receiver to your radio, so you can't do any of those hacks. So that none of that will work with these, but it will work with this one. You can get RSSI information back. And I did have this um, bound up to my jumper uh, T8SG radio, and you can you can use uh, yeah set up here in the Devo or the Deviation TX uh, firmware to get the it's called the LQI output or the link quality uh, basically it's like RSSI, and that you can also then use the same sort of hack to send that back to your Betaflight OSD. Okay, so I just got this power down here. Just want to quickly show you where that is. Uh, so, so I just have my little telemetry output on my, uh, my screen here to show the RSSI or the LQI output here on the screen. But that's not all that useful because I obviously have goggles on, you can't look at this. And so what you want to do is you want to go into your model setup. And then you go down to uh, the actual um, protocol output here. And then go in here. And then you want to go to this section here where it says LQI output. And in this case, you can select what channel you want the RSSI to be output on. And this is very similar to the way the Fly, uh, Fly Plus uh, firmware works on the uh, i6 radio. 
This is actually kind of simpler actually. There's no firmware to update here. It's just, this is actually already built into the jumper radio. So I selected channel 8. And so then uh, on channel 8 on in Betaflight Configure the AUX4, you just select that uh, in the drop down menu on the, on the upper right hand corner of the receiver page. And then it'll show up as a RSSI in your, that you use in your OSD. So that's all you gotta do for the jumper. And I, with this particular receiver, you can get uh, the RSSI output on your OSD in Betaflight. Anyway, it's gonna do it for my review of the uh, Flip 10 receiver. Uh, bottom line is if you kind of think of it as a shrunken down version of the IA6B receiver, pretty much anything that you can do with the IA6B receiver other than the PWM outputs is going to apply to the Flip 10 receiver. So if you think of it that way and you want to get uh, RSSI on your OSD, just uh, look up uh, stuff, Google stuff on the IA6B receiver and all that stuff should be applicable in the same way to the Flip 10. Just, this is a little bit smaller and lighter receiver. So hopefully it helps you guys out. I know there's a lot of a lot of questions about this receiver and what it could do. The telemetry module I think is pretty worthless at this point. Maybe at some point in the future it might be, but at this point it isn't. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.